Whoa, that's a legit dungeon. Something's about to happen. What can we do with the TNT? This guy's huge! Welcome back, everybody, to Dungeon Crawlers. Here, we're playing some Minecraft Dungeons. It's me, Log.Zip, a.k.a. Tyler, and if you missed our first episode on this brand new channel, well, it was a first look at the tutorial as well as the backstory of Minecraft Dungeons. So if you missed that video, you may want to watch it first. It does do a breakdown of the tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the very first mission available on the Dungeons game, a.k.a. the beta that is currently out. Now, we don't have a front-facing date for when this game officially comes out but my guess is sometime in the spring for now we are checking out the beta and we have the mission select screen right here creeper woods we do have new one mission here in the bottom right and so creeper woods recommended power one normal difficulty gear and artifact power one through eight there's some apparent gear drops available as well as three artifacts to find as well all right so here we go what are we doing in the creeper woods enemies of the Illager empire Somewhere in these woods. That's me. I'm free folk. Transporting villager prisoners to labor in far off lands. Find the caravan. Caravan, huh? Villagers, or there's no telling what dreadful okay. doom will befall our villager friends. Ooh. Now, normally I wouldn't care what sort of dreadful doom befalls our villager friends because normally I'm not a big fan of villagers. But it's a new game. We'll give them a new opportunity to prove themselves worthy of saving. So. Creeper Woods. Let's take this one on together, everybody. Make sure you subscribe, by the way, and hit that bell if you have not already so you can catch all Dungeons footage right as it comes out. And as they say, an apple a day keeps the illagers away. And we've got a couple of them now. Let's see. No problem taking on those zombies. Again, I'm going to go ahead and keep my map handy so that we at all times know where any secrets may lie. Because as you saw in that little clip there, Sometimes random chests will appear out of nowhere, and I want to make sure we're grabbing every single potential chest option along these mission playthroughs, because I want you guys to be able to catch all the secrets as well. But it doesn't look like we caught any that time around, so we should be good to move on for the time being. Although there is something maybe this direction over the bridge? Oh, that, this is just where we were. <laughs> Ooh, okay, and so if you didn't realize, I actually made a new character since the last video, and I gave my sword a new enchantment called Poison Cloud, which has a small chance of causing, well, a cloud of poison to appear to damage nearby mobs. And oh my goodness, we have a whole mess of them now. This is the first time I've seen this many mobs coming out of nowhere. Now you know it's legit. This is not the tutorial anymore, okay? We're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Seriously, we gotta watch the heck out. I got my bow handy just in case things start to get dicey. Man, zombies all over the place and plenty of arrows to boot. Okay, so with that, we can go ahead and move on. Probably start taking these guys on. Some of them are armored now, so we're really gonna have to watch out. Yeah, I don't think so. You can go and you can go. Oh, dude, I'm gonna have to learn my dodging skills real fast here. There may be something for us to explore in the water. It does, in fact, look like we can travel through water, so I want to make sure I'm doing all the exploring I can in this area. We do have the checkpoint. Oh, boy. Yikes. Yeah, maybe I should equip my arrows. I think that, that might be a good idea. Yeah, let's go ahead and get a good... Yeah, take them on just like that. Hello. We got a shadow brew. Apparently, by drinking that, we are completely invisible. Now, what does this guy want? Find the caravan. Okay. Well, we freed one of the villagers right there. That's kind of what I was looking for, to be honest. You can go. You can go. And you, too. Now, the cool thing that we didn't really even get a chance to explore is that you have infinite health potions, at least in the beta. So I just healed up by clicking that on my hotbar down below. And it's going to heal. Oh, hey, we got a new sword. Let's see what that's all about. So our current sword is 10 to 16 melee damage right here. And our new sword is 11 to 18. Okay, okay, okay. Well, don't mind if I swap that one out real quick. And it does mean we lose our poison cloud, so I don't know if it's better right off the bat, but it doesn't seem to proc too often, so I'm pretty sure I could use the extra sword damage right out the gate. All right, so I haven't missed anything, so it appears. All right, past the gate we go. 
Let's see. We've got a fork in the road right here. Um, I'm going to go left. The winding path seems a little bit easier to follow this way through. Now, again, there is a beta right now, so we are running into lag spikes like this from time to time. Doesn't seem to be too big an issue, and I'm sure they'll fix it by the time the actual game comes out. <gasps> Ooh, a sheep! I don't know if I want to attack the sheep. Oh, well, I killed him. <laughs> I wonder if uh, we lose points by killing the sheep. We'll just let him go for now. Oh, Matt has a block in the way. So, sheep, you will be spared for now. I might need you for mutton later, but we'll go ahead and just let that one go. Bye bye. <laughs> Get it, because the sheep. Anyways, oh, look, yeah. See, over here's a dead end. Gotta be a chest over here. It's gotta be something. Yep, there's another hidden one. Ooh, Hunter's armor. Yo, we just got some armor. Okay, don't mind if I do. Nice and equipped. Yo, I look like a goober. <laughs> All right, well, hey, we'll take it. Anything we can get to take on these zombies more effectively. All right, and there's another dead end this way, so we might happen across another chest in a second. They kind of pop up out of nowhere, so you really need to do a lot of exploring, like, in every direction. Can we... No, we can't get up that way. That's fine. Okay, and I think we went the right way, because this is a dead end over here, and I want to explore every single nook and cranny of this map to make sure that we're doing this playthrough right. Ooh, this looks like a dungeon or something. Is that a... That looks like a wither skeleton skull of some sort. Hold on. Oh, here's something. Ooh. Okay. That's a legit dungeon. We're about to go into an actual dungeon. Okay, well, you know what that means. <laughs> it's time to go the other way first. All right, we're going to go ahead and take this other fork in the road now so we can visit all the Betsy's, apparently. I don't know if animals drop food or anything yet. I'm keen to find out because, you know, that would just be useful knowledge to have. You know, you never know when you can get an extra heal in. You know what I'm saying? Or what? Okay, so this fork in the road didn't have really anything too fruitful, just... More innocent animals to take on. Not a problem. Sorry, Betsy's, but this has to lead to something over here. What do we have? Come on. Oh, teasing me. Nothing. Ooh, but something's right here. TNT? Whoa. What can we do with the TNT? Are we going to blow something up with it? Okay, hold on. <gasps> There's a creeper right there. Can I throw this? Ooh. No way. That was sick. 72 damage for that thing. Amazing. Oh, wow. Yo, they handled TNT way differently in this version of the game. Actually, funny enough, we did a Minecraft Dungeons port over on my main channel, log.zip, where we remade a lot of the dungeon features you're seeing in today's video in the Java version of Minecraft. So if you're looking for something else to watch, very similar to Minecraft Dungeons in nature, you might want to pick up a viewing of that video as well and I think we just got an even better set of armor now this is a perfect opportunity to show you guys that we actually can salvage our armor so this is plus one health this is 10 arrows per bundle and plus 30 range damage now this is plus nine health so we just got a major upgrade I'm gonna go ahead and show you the salvage feature of the inventory system so over here there's a button called salvage if you click it you can actually get some money back for your armor. I'm gonna go ahead and salvage this, and we could technically salvage the sword, but I'd rather save it in case we want to use the poison cloud later. There are a lot of mobs nearby, and that may prove to be more useful than the sword we're currently using after all. For now, though, let's go ahead and move towards, oh boy. Yeah, you're gonna have to make quick work of creepers if you don't want to get blown up by them. Now, speaking of, an arrow is probably the better choice for taking these guys out. I feel like this is something. This is like a creeper face. Maybe we should have used the TNT on that. You guys can let me know in the comments anything I missed during this playthrough, and we can always revisit for a future episode so that you guys can all be informed as to whatever's going on. Now, we're continuing down this path. It seems to be getting longer and longer, so I'm not entirely sure if we should carry on or if we should go and try take on that dungeon we found before. I don't want to get stuck anywhere. Now would be a good chance for us to use our explosive arrows, I think. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's a whole mess of creatures now. I'm going to want to make sure I heal up ASAP. Yeah, like right now, more like it. All right, all handled. I'll take that shadow brew. Thank you very much. Now, it looks like they're having a little bit more trouble seeing me. Uh, hard to tell, to be honest. But, hey, I think we're doing pretty good. 
All right, so we actually ended up heading back to this dungeon so that we can explore the insides of it because I did not know how much further that other path was going to take us down. So this is the actual first look at a dungeon inside of Minecraft Dungeons. Ooh, and it doesn't appear as though we can go too far in that direction. Did we already hit a dead end? Maybe we can use our explosive arrow. Let me see. No, that didn't appear to do it either. So hopefully I didn't just walk back all this way for nothing. <laughs> oh look, actually right here, new location. What did we just unlock? Level unlock creepy crypt. Okay, so I guess, oh boy, oh boy. There is a whole lot of mobs that we're gonna have to take out. I think that if we do that, yep, here we go. Well, we just got our hands on some TNT. Let's see. We also got some hunter's armor, a whole mess of arrows, and this armor's worse than our current armor. So we're gonna go ahead and salvage that one again as well. Stacking up those emeralds. We've got about 130 of them right now. I'm gonna hold on to this TNT. You can right click or use whatever control is associated with your right click in order to throw it. So why don't I just hold on to it for the time being, just in case we need it in a second here. Here's a crypt of some sort. I don't think I can do anything with it. We can't actually place the TNT down. It doesn't. It looks like it's a situation where we just kind of have to use it. But check this out. There we go. Okay. Well, we're just going to move on for the time being. Not a problem. And let's go ahead and use this nice stun tool, the fishing rod. It will actually bring mobs towards you. Ooh, that is sweet. Look at that. Well, when I, you know, don't miss, you know, that'd be useful. All right, fishing rod. Nice. Yo, sweet. And we just got to level up. Okay, so let's see. What can we level up on our current sword? We've got poison cloud, sharpness, 10% increase to damage. We can do freezing to slow mobs. Poison cloud. I like poison cloud. We're going to bring the poison cloud back, to be honest, because... Right now, we're running into a whole mess of mobs pretty consistently. So, I think that that's going to be our best bet. There's actually one more path further down here that I almost missed, but I didn't. So, it's okay. So, we're going to go ahead and explore that one as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Poison Cloud was a great call. Yo, taking them out like nothing. And we got even more emeralds right there. Now, it doesn't look like these tombs or crypts do anything just yet. Hard to know. Again, I'm kind of learning a lot of this right as you guys are, and a lot of it's going to be subject to change. This is the beta. All right, but further down we go into the depths here. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa, hey. It took us... Hey, it took us back to the main path. That's awesome. Okay, well, let's go ahead and play some catch-up. If you're playing with a keyboard and mouse, you can just left-click once, and it's got a pathing system so that you don't have to hold your mouse button down. You can just click once or twice here and there to make even more progress. Now, we're finally caught up with where we left off on this path. And I suppose now's a really good time for it to start lagging, huh? <laughs> Let's take these guys out ASAP. Love the poison cloud. Super useful. Especially with all these mobs all over the place. Oh, yeah. It's about that time. All right, let's see. Got a little encampment here. Doesn't look like there's any creatures nearby. And it doesn't look like campfires do much to heal us. So I'm going to go ahead and just heal using my potion. Don't worry. It will instantly go back. Well, I don't know about instantly, but it'll go back eventually. You can actually see the cooldown on it near my giant heart below. So that's a good start. Take you guys out from afar. Don't mind if I do. You can kind of go pretty rapid fire with the arrow here, but the longer you right click and hold, the more powerful the arrow is going to be. I haven't gotten any sort of drops. Oh, hey, right as I said something. Looks like we got our hands on some meat by killing these poor innocent animals. We got apples. It doesn't look like you hold on to food. It just heals you right as you find the food. So there's no storing food. Oh boy, but there is a creeper nearby and I'm gonna make sure that he stays way the heck away from me. Now, if you notice over here, it looks as though right where my mouse is circling, there's a little square there. I don't know if that's a place we can reach or not. It may be a secret. In fact, you can kind of see over here, there might be an area for us to roll over to. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Maybe not. I don't know. 
So you can see on parts of the minimap down there a whole bunch of unexplored area. I like really want to figure out how to get there. There's also a full map button option that you can press and that's going to give you a more clear perspective on everything that this map has to offer. It'll also show you how many secrets you found on the level as well as how many chests you've opened that are available to open. So there's three more secrets to be found. I want to try and find them all before this level ends, but I am having trouble knowing where to go. Or well, at least to find these secrets. Okay, but here's some new area for now. Oh boy! Woo! Creepers! Oh, and we got some spiders for the first time appearing. Okay. Interesting. Let us see. They are no problem for me. <laughs> Can we roll down here, I wonder? Nope. Does not count. Oh, man, but we are pretty low on health right now. Thank goodness we've got infinite potions, essentially. <laughs> okay. So, we're approaching what looks like a village of some sort. This may be closer and closer to to this caravan that we're looking for. Oh, and so spiders will shoot webs at you, and it looks like what? They slow you down when you're stuck in the middle of them. Right, let's go ahead and fire off an explosive one. Yeah, they literally stick you with their webs. Now there is a dungeon entrance right there. I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in a second. All right, let's see what this is all about. Ooh, not a dungeon at all. But hey, some fresh supplies. And you gotta get that bread, baby. We can also break pottery, Zelda style. Perfect, and it doesn't look like we can read these books. It also looks like we're standing on top of the table. Wow, very rude. Show some manners, Steve. All right, further down the path, and things are starting to get a little bit nasty. I can't tell, are these, are these spider eggs all over the place? Yikes, uh, right. Ooh, a TNT. Explosion thrown, damaging it. Yeah, 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 that, it, that sounds good and all. Why don't we just focus on the task at hand, which is finding secret chests. Maybe something's over here. No? Kind of want to go back to that creeper skull that we saw before to see if we can blow it up using this TNT, but... Ooh. There is a piggy right there. I don't know if we should... Do we attack him? I, I think so. I think that was a great idea, because we got whatever loot was there. Are we carrying two TNT? <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, hopefully we can use it on something good in a second. I hear some baddies. Free the villagers. Something's about to happen. Okay. Get ready to blow this TNT up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. That looks like a bad guy. I just took major damage. Better heal. All right, we freed one of the villagers. We need to free five total. Two of them are freed. Ooh, take on that guy. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, watch out for all the Vindicators. Things are gonna get nasty very, very soon. Here's another one of the villagers. All right, you are nice and freed. Taken out. Is that the caravan? I don't know. Get it Oh. Okay. Yeah, no reading. Not the time. Should've done that ages ago. Here's another one to be freed. And I think that the last one is right here, this little gold icon we see. I'm always looking out. For secret chests, though, along the way, make sure we're finding all the goodies. Whoa, something just happened there. And I'm not even talking about the lag spike. All right, we're approaching the final villager that needs to be saved right here. Oh, he's up there. How do we get to him? Oh, wow, yo, Enchanted Vindicator. This guy's huge! And he's, like, being powered up by this dude over here. All right! We freed all the villagers. Excellent. Now there's an exit over there, but again, I want to try and find a couple more secrets that we may have missed. Maybe there's some over here. Yeah, oh, I just triggered something by standing on top of that thing. Something just happened. Let me see, can we, can we go down this? Maybe, maybe we need to find another one of those. Maybe that opens something somewhere else. I guess we can salvage our old sword now that our other sword has the better enchantment on it anyways. Ooh! And we even get one of our enchantment points back. I didn't realize that you could do that. Does that mean we can... Hey, I think that means we can upgrade our bow right now, because that doesn't currently have... Oh, and we have an even better bow right here. We went from 10 to 25, up to 15 to 37. Yeah, time to salvage. Goodbye. Now we can upgrade this guy. So this punch to push back, or we can do growing. The fire shot grows in the air, dealing extra damage to distant targets. I'm gonna go with that one. That one sounds like a great idea. 
Here's some more supplies for us. Grab some goodies. Get some of that bread. I'm very curious about what happened to that other path that we saw. You know, it's a little bit peculiar. And I gotta say, I really love... Yeah! There's a whole mess of skellies over here. I think it's better we go with the melee damage so we can get some of this poison cloud action going. Although it doesn't look as though there's any friendly fire. The skeletons don't seem to damage each other. But boy, do they have a lot of emeralds on them. Oh my gosh. Yo, in the money right now. And that bread is really helping us right now. We're not taking any damage because we ate that. And look, another chest right here. Yes, excellent. Big money. So there's only three more chests to open. I feel like it's going to be the three secrets that we haven't found as well. So I don't really know. We might we, we might not be able to find all the secrets on this one. So guys, I'm going to need your help if we don't. Right now, I just want to find the escape here. and It looks like we might be well on our way to doing that. But there is so many mobs nearby. Ooh. Oh, man, and those creepers are blowing up at a distance, too. We've really got to be careful. What is this? What is that? Just a campfire, maybe? Hold on, where's our map? Yeah. Spiders, get the heck away. I can't tell if this is an exit. Let's roll down it. Ooh! We just found a secret. See? Look how sneaky. Very sneaky. Wait, can we... I wonder if we can grapple that towards us. Can we... Can we use the... Hmm. I don't know how to reach that. How do we... How do we get to it? Maybe... Guys, I want to figure out how to get to that chest! It's just out of reach. Maybe we could just roll towards it quickly? Eh. Nope. Not working doing that. Okay, well, guys, you're going to have to help me figure out that one. We're going to have to just leave it for now. I'm glad we at least found one of the secrets. Speaking of, over here, it doesn't appear as though there's any more. All right, we just left the grave area. It doesn't seem as though we really missed out on anything. I'll take that pork chop. Thank you very much. And, hey, we just got another level up. Not bad. I'm going to start saving my enchantments so that we can start getting higher level enchantments on these guys. Although I feel like we're probably going to end up getting rid of a lot of these chests, or these weapons, sooner rather than later. Sorry, Betsy. Escape Creeper Woods. Okay. Looks like things are about to get even crazier. I thought we were nearly done here. Although it looks like we are pretty close. Is that a secret? Is, that, is, there, is there something we can do right there? Hold on. Let's go around the side here. Can we... Secret? 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 Any secrets? Please? Secrets? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like the end of the map is just at the other edge there. So, with any luck, we can survive. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Thank you very much. Take on some explosive arrows right there. Yeah. Is this it? Did we do it? Victory! These villages are free from the clasp of the illagers. That's right. All thanks to you. What am I, good or something? Okay, so back to camp. That was the first mission. Not bad. Let's see how we did. Okay, healing done 35. Chests opened. We opened 63% of chests. We hit most projectiles. Did some decent damage, to be honest. And we got a few levels to boot. So, let's see what loot we get as our reward. A death cap mushroom. Eaten by daring warriors before battle, the death cap mushroom drives fighters into a frenzy. Not bad. Guys, make sure you subscribe to the Dungeon Crawlers channel so you can catch the next mission right here on this channel very soon. And join us in the very near future for a first look at some multiplayer action.